Hello, and welcome to the 2020 Tucson Humanities Festival. My name is Alain Philippe Durand, and I'm the Dean of the College of Humanities. Thank you for joining us. My esteemed colleagues have prepared these presentations to challenge and inform us, and perhaps help us seek better solutions to the problems we face in the world today. Now, please enjoy this presentation and visit our website, humanitiesfestival.arizona.edu, for the complete event schedule, as well as recordings of this event and future events. The 2020 Tucson Humanities Festival is supported by the Humanities Seminars Program. The program offers premier adult education by top university professors from its home here in the College of Humanities. The University of Arizona Poetry Center's Art for Justice grant commissions leading poets to create new work in conversation with the crisis of mass incarceration in the United States. The goal of this initiative is to create opportunities for action, awareness, and empathy through in-person poetry readings and presentations that highlight the work of local organizations working for change in the criminal justice system. Hi, I'm Diana Delgado, Literary Director at the Poetry Center, and I'm excited to share some background about this three-year project and introduce you to an online collection of Art for Justice content available at poetry.arizona.edu. During the Tucson Humanities Festival in October 2020, the Poetry Center's Breezeway has been transformed into an interactive outdoor exhibit with selected Art for Justice poems displayed in our windows, as well as chalk artwork by Tucson's urban poetry pollinators. The Art for Justice project seeks to confront racial inequities within the criminal justice system to promote social change and justice. In 2018, funding was awarded to the Poetry Center by the Ford Foundation. The statistics underscore the depth of the crisis. The United States spends $80 billion a year on correction services. An African-American male born in the United States in 2001 has a 32% chance of being incarcerated at some point in his life. A Latino male has a 17% chance and a Caucasian male has a 6% chance. People of color make up 67% of those in jail or prison. Due to lack of support and the stigma of incarceration, two out of three women released from prison are rearrested within five years. To imagine a future that we can all share together, one that lies beyond these numbers, we commissioned a series of new writings. We have presented new work from poet ambassadors in the Poetry Center's reading and lecture series in conversation with local organizations working for change in the criminal justice system. Participating poet ambassadors include Randall Horton, Nikki Finney, Evie Shockley, Patrick Rosal, Natalie Diaz, Patricia Smith, Angel Nafis, Tango Eisen Martin, Ada Limon, Hanif Abdurraqib, Jericho Brown, Raquel Salas Rivera, Vanessa Anhalika Villarreal, Frank Johnson, John Murillo, Nicole Seely, and Reginald Dwayne Betts. The Art for Justice online archive can be found at voca.arizona.edu and features the work created by all the poets over the duration of the project. Across these commissioned works, the hope is that we will encourage empathy an understanding of the forces behind these harrowing statistics, and in doing so, create the conditions for radical change. <laughs>